uh, armor buff. Yeah. So bucklers is like it's just an extra two armor you can give to everyone, which is something they kind of need against a weaver and a starter. Dogfights trying to make it out. Kaka though is gonna get caught, and uh, I don't think the airplane mode will take him out this time. I say that though. Looks like no, it will. He's, he's, he's just looking at them. See ya. <laughs> How many times has he actually? I, I think the other day when we were casting a pit lord, like his airplane mode never worked. Never worked. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, dogfight is the greatest pilot right now. In, uh, <laughs> uh, All right. I I remember the game you were talking about. It was like time after time couldn't save people, kept dying before the, the dark rift went off. But this time, I mean, he's one four and fourteen, but. I mean, if he didn't get out all those times, I think he would probably have like seven or eight deaths by now. Yeah, and his teammates would have a lot more deaths. And his teammates, yeah. So, what exactly uh, is the answer now to SC's BKB on? Uh, Tinker is about to finish Sheepstick. Okay. But so... they have to be able to focus him down if they manage to target him down. I think a lot of it has to come down to Luna. Not just Eclipse, she needs to start dealing right click damage. Butterfly I mean, is she online. She has a butterfly now. Yeah. yeah. So, she's really strong. And working on a satanic. Yeah, the new satanic recipe. Oh, okay. Manta dodge trying to, but now it's going to be Kaka in a lot of trouble. Astro is going to be the defensive tool. And now SC on the front line focusing on oh, dogfights. No. On the back line, the laser, they're doing a ton of work. And SC going for dogfights. No more airplane this mode. But the death ward, the death ward's doing so much damage. Look at Super's positioning behind these trees. Oh my god, we talked about Luna doing damage, but suddenly Super just turns on the Jets himself, and they win the teamfight off the back of that Death Ward. We're gonna have to see this fight recap damage from that Death Ward. He did just as much damage as his Luna with that Death Ward. Oh, I, I, I guess I, my, my team Which... recap did not show that, but... Uh... Oh, it did, they both did about 3,800 damage. Okay. Paparazzi? Going to be taking the second lane of Rax, and uh, I mean, every time I make a prediction, it's like, oh, they have no answer for SC, it's BKB. It's like, yes, they do. Yes, they do. I mean, they have like decent, decent uh, physical damage, like BKB piercing. I mean, they have the March, they have a Luna, and they have the Witch Doctor Ward. Yep. Cock oh! oh! That Manta. Paparazzi! Vac wall is gonna fly through, but the laser blind is gonna have to force SC back. Looks like Paparazzi is gonna just BKB TP out. And now Faith is on the chase, looking to, to lift or beam somebody oh. down. Oh. And SC had to BKB in the fountain because he was gonna die to malediction. Oh, uh, well. His BKB was running low, anyways, right? Oh no, that was actually 8 seconds. Oh no, right? that's 8 seconds. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty damn important. And Paparazzi back! Because dogfights is, uh, well, bring him in. I have to say, uh, we, we keep saying, you know, dogfights is using his ult very well, but the one thing that he's constantly on top of is he's counter initiating against Kaka extremely well, right? Every time we see Slaughter jumps in with a crush, immediately after he crush, he gets pit. Yeah, like, definitely. No questions so asked. On yeah. And not only does that render Kaka useless in the fights, it also makes it really hard for the rest of Newbie to. Take advantage like a crush, right? Because they suddenly they if they run into the pit, they have to walk in. That Manta dodge though. Yeah, that was sick. Oh, th this uh, begs the question: What's the cast point of CK's ult? It's pretty bad, right? For CK? Well, for mm -hmm. him to use it on his friends with eggs. I don't think it's actually that bad. Okay. When you use it on your allies, I don't think it's that bad. When you use it on yourself, it's like terrible. Yeah, it feels awful. Yeah. It's like, I think it has like the same animation as the stun, I believe, so it's whatever that is. Which okay. is not really great either. Uh, but it's definitely better than his own. IGV. We'll take the third Aegis, but the third Aegis comes along with the cheese, and uh, that's great for Paparazzi. Paparazzi going bootless at the moment. Seems good. It takes both Aegis and cheese. You could do that now. That new uh, backpack. <laughs> drops his uh, drops his boots. Yeah. His mobility is going to come from uh, come in the form of a hurricane pike, but he's not even close to it. This is going to be a no. He's got slow moving tank. Oh, he dropped it. He's giving it to someone. Okay. Who's he giving it to? Oh, dog fights. Great choice. 
He's going to be the team savior, right? He's like the Jesus yeah. right, right. of uh, IGV right now. They have to kill him in order to stop the uh, the airplane, but right. with these and Guardian Greaves, I mean, I don't see that happening. Wait, wasn't there a player in Korean League when you were playing there named, like, Jesus? Was that Action Jesus? Or... Oh, that's uh, Jesus Stick. Jesus Stick! Man, what a fucking name, guys. What a name, yeah. Alright. Oh, Blink Crush. No pit to stop him this time, but... Oh, nice Burrow Shrike. They're gonna find the Faith and Faith. Oh, with the backing wall once again is great, but look at Unai. He's on the back line getting rooted. Paparazzi going in, just manning up, and now he pops the Satanic. But the MKB do a lot of work, and that's Aegis. That's Aegis and BKB, I believe, already used on the Luna. He might be in a little bit of trouble. The wall now slows him down. The airplane mode takes him out. Is he gonna bring him out under the... Oh, no, he's home. Yeah, it does. Okay. It brings, even if you're in an astral, yours is out. All right. And that's that's the end of the engagement. Everyone flies home. <laughs> well, I think IGV wanted to get a little bit more, because uh, they did use the Aegis. Are they going to pass the cheese on to him now? Or has the cheese been used? Looks like the cheese also been used in that one. They immediately smoke back out. I really like this whole airplane mode thing, where they queue up and then they just go again. Yeah, definitely. It's... Like, very well practiced. Like, they know exactly what they want out of this Underlord. Alright, Pop. Kaka's gonna I... get... Oh, that Burrow Strike from a mile away. I also like the fact that they are not wasting time with these Shrines. Normally, you know, you take down Terror 2, you Shrine up and, and everything, but... This definitely seems like a, a timing attack. Now there's no vac wall combination from the Darkstair. And now it's going to be SC in a lot of trouble. BKB gets activated again by Paparazzi. The right clicks are coming through. SC trying to man fight. Where's that death for? Super not channeling it just yet. Seems like it's on cooldown all this time. But Paparazzi going to work. Objective Gaming takes down the last lane in the barracks. Mega Creeps has been there. SC, the BKB has ran out. And IGV, I call them the underdog in this series. But they take out Newbie in a very convincing fashion. That was, like, I don't know. That was, like, superb pit lord usage. Yeah. I think this is the best pit lord game I've seen. Well, it's not, it's not only about the pit lord. It's, like, so much about this draft suddenly makes so much sense after seeing it. Like, the way they fight with the pit lord, the way they fight with the tinker. Like, it's so well balanced. Like, it covers all potential weaknesses. Yep. Even, it even helps uh, Super Switch Doctor a, a lot, right? Because you see him doing it, you want to walk in and lob a stun at him. But, you know, Kaka has already put his stun on cooldown. What are you counting on? Faith walking in and telekinesis? Like, and, and the Pit of Malice is, you know, cock blocking as yeah. well. So, it, it, yeah, like you said, it's a very well thought out draft. I, I want to see more from IGV, but obviously we should not count out Newbie. You know, they're the one of the best teams in China, if not the best team. So let's see what they could do in game two. Uh, that's going to be coming up in a, after a short break. So don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be back.